Mystic Meg, brilliant and incomparable astrologer, dies aged 80. She became a household name in 1994 when she hosted a slot on the UK's National Lottery Draw, where she looked into a crystal ball to predict a future winner. Lake pioneered phone-in horoscopes, launching a dedicated phone line in 1989 that broke telephone records. She had a regular newspaper column in The Sun and the now defunct news of the world. She died on Thursday morning, having been admitted to hospital with flu last month. Her agent, Dave Shapland, said, without any question, she was Britain's most most famous astrologer by a million miles. Nobody came close to Meg in that respect. She was followed by millions in this country and also around the world. She even became part of the English language. If a politician, somebody from showbiz or ordinary people in the street were asked a tricky question, they would say, who do you think I am, Mystic Meg? The Sun editor, Victoria Newton said, this is devastating news. We've lost an icon. Our brilliant and incomparable Meg was synonymous with the Sun. She was a total legend. We loved her and so did our readers. For more than two decades, Mystic Meg has been a must read column and cemented her as Britain's most famous astrologer. One of my favorite memories of Meg is when all the Spice Girls came to the office just as they were riding high at number one. We planned a tour for them, but all they wanted to do was meet Mystic Meg. You know you're a true icon when the only person Victoria Beckham is interested in is you. Lake, who was taught astrology by her grandmother, was born on July 27, 1942. Subscribe to our channel for the latest on your favorite celebrities. Like, comment and share and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications.